Hey guys, Spartan 117 GW here today, and we're gonna be talking about this really, really cool gun right here. But this isn't just any gun, man. This is a clone of Travis Haley's OIF SOP mod. And on top of that, he actually helped me build it and paint it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So here we have this beautiful gun. Uh, this has gotta be one of the coolest clone guns ever because obviously like i mentioned before the guy that the the clone is based off of worked on the gun so this was kind of a cool idea that i had a while ago i've been to haley strategic numerous numerous times and i know that the blackwater rifle gets a lot of attention but i was always you know i always had a soft spot for the sop mod and because he'll have a clone of his original sop mod up on his wall and i'd look at that and be like dude that is such a cool gun not just because of the type of weapon system it is and all the attachments and everything on it but also the paint job was really really badass so i wasn't even sure if we'd be able to get close and we actually got pretty damn close so as you can see this is a m4 sop mod um, Force Reconnaissance was using them, and he used his specifically in Liberia and Iraq. Um, so this is kind of more the, I guess, the Iraq variant, but uh, minimal changes since then. And it's funny that we've actually joked around that mine, in some ways, is almost more accurate than his new clone, because I actually have an A1 grip, and he actually preferred the A1 grip because he just hated the nub. It was just more comfortable. So as you can see, I have... Um, arms uh, swan leaf on here uh, which was kind of hard to find then i have an arms mount for my aim point it's real aim point uh, i have a peck 2 up here so that's basically what the guys were using at the time and a surefire 6p now i don't have the right tail cap on the surefire 6p but um i could still use it with the button that comes with it um and it's pretty badass because it's it's really interesting to see how these minute setups evolved over the years and became Halo Strategic products. Like, you look at where the light is mounted and where he's putting things, and it's cool to see, like, wow, he has been using them like this for a while, so he had just made products that kind of solve those problems. So this one uses basically like a shotgun, like, tube light kind of mount, but it, obviously it's on an M4 platform, which is kind of cool. Um, have the 40 millimeter grenade launcher on here and the ready mag. Now, the ready mag, kind of like my Gothic Serpent kit, which is up behind me somewhere, ready mag was kind of a popular solution to have another mag on the gun, um, in like the 90s 2000s era and then slowly over time kind of faded away uh, with introduction of the bad lever and things like that which Travis actually designed um, you know being able to reload from another source was pretty damn fast if not faster um, and as you can see it also kind of lightened the gun up a little bit because this gun definitely is front heavy um, so not something you want to carry around all the time if you're playing airsoft with it and by the way this is the airsoft clone um but hella hella badass um my kit that you saw in the video isn't exactly correct for this gun what i really need is a force reconnaissance kit from the early 2000s i don't have the vest and working on basically getting a close setup to that haven't gotten there just yet but what was cool is like, you know, Travis gave, sent me pictures and gave me tips on what to look for and find and I assembled it to him. Uh, I assembled it and I brought it to him because he told me, it's like, hey, if you build it, he said, I'll paint it. So I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so I got the gun, brought it over to Haley Strategic on one of my airsoft trips over there. And um, yeah, then we started the process and it was kind of, kind of daunting because, you know, once you start, it's like, well, can't stop. Um, and um, just not just the painting process because we spent we spent a good amount of time like he dedicated some solid time working on this thing and it was actually pretty funny because at some point during the painting process he kept like holding his original clone for reference and holding this one and at some point he actually was worried that he had painted his original clone he's like wait is this mine i was like no 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 that's mine you're painting the right gun he's like oh okay so you know that the paint job and the work is good when the guy who's doing it and the guy who's gun it's based off for a quick second gets confused which gun's which so pretty dang close um 
Now the painting was the first phase and you know we we learned a lot as we we're going along and it'll require a lot of natural weathering as I go and as you know I use the gun and kind of just manipulate it if you will but um, the weathering part was pretty cool just using like acetone and stuff like that paint remover whatever just kind of working on certain spots like that's really where the artistry came out and if you know Travis you know he loves painting guns you know he loves working on little details and stuff like that and so he literally like talking about like Dremel and all kinds of stuff just working on all the little details and the weather points just getting the weathering as close as he could and I gotta say I'm pretty damn happy with the final product like this thing is freaking cool <laughs> and uh, I, mean, I mean i got the real aim point on here like I, I can't wait to use this in like a game with like a close to kosher kit or just any oif kit in general because this is a pretty badass setup um by the way this is actually the same gun i used in my other oif setup where it was just the standard infantry m4 well now this is kind of a force reconnaissance m4 but i could still use it for my other gwat kits um but yeah this thing is absolutely glorious i've got a gmp pack on there i think i mentioned the pack but it's a GMP um, and it just it turned out fantastic and I just think the story the process just the whole experience like how many people have cloned rifles but been able to get the guy whose rifle it was based on to help him work on it like that's pretty cool it doesn't matter airsoft or not um, so super happy with how this turned out I mean it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous it's one of the crowns of my collection it's funny because i have two guns that travis haley used uh well that are based off guns that he used or that he actually used i have the screen used exodus gun and i have this that he hand worked on so this is a just a work of art it's a masterpiece um just it's kind of a cool little takeaway from my last haley strategic visit so yeah this thing's badass so i mean i, I could say it's amazing all day long but uh yeah this is the whole process is amazing and uh yeah if you guys want to build a gun like this or getting into cloning guns do it it's a lot of fun and you know even cooler when you can work with the guy who's gotten your cloning like th that was just in a freaking amazing experience so make sure you guys check it out also check out Haley strategic um those guys have been great to me and they have a lot of great training a lot of great accessories and stuff like that and there's a lot of great history there so if you go by their their shop there's so much cool stuff there so be sure to check it out um in case you guys are wondering there's some uh, other discounts and links in the description i'll be uploading more videos and whatnot but i just want to share this cool product project and big 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 thanks to evic for helping source some of the parts i actually got the base gun from evic the car stock the gmp pack and the uh, grenade launcher and, and the ready mag as well the replica ready mag so if you're looking to kind of piece things together evic has a lot of stuff for you some of the stuff you won't be able to find there but you might, might get close like the replica aim point or something this is a real aim point um but yeah go go ahead and check those guys out if you want to get into building some guns or playing airsoft or what have you so a lot of good stuff there so thank you guys for watching this is spartan 117 gw and i'll see you guys next time